Hey, this is Jeremy from Northern Kentucky, and you are watching Trucker Josh and Diesel on TJV. Everybody, back at the shop it's another day there's over 3,000 of my videos online right now in playlists on my channel you go to my playlist and watch from number one all the way to the current day or even before that I had three years of content that I labeled differently like right, trip one day one trip one day ten all that stuff go check out my playlists on my channel and catch up let's get to work I gotta get trucking it's Friday. Ah, you can hear my voice. I don't know why it's doing that. You can tell it's Friday by the way that it is. I'm really tired. My voice is doing weird things. And my body's like, hey, can we sleep longer tomorrow, please? And my brain's going like, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> I know once uh, we start having kids, that uh, Saturdays and weekends no longer exist. Sleep will no longer exist. So I've got to train myself mentally now. This is just how you feel normally all the time. This is just normal. Exhaustion. It's a way of life. Get used to it, Josh. Get used to it. Uh, so regarding that pro process of having a baby, uh, what they call the transfer, for those of you who are interested, I think that's going to happen in June now. But uh, man, you'll probably like it'll probably sort of uh, disappear from our channel for a little while. We won't talk about it much until something actually happens. Uh, because before we would make any announcement saying that, hey, hey, we're gonna have a baby, we wanna make sure that we're past all of the, the danger phases, right? And probably into the second trimester and stuff. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. So those of you who are wondering, that's where we're at now. There's gonna be a pause in that coverage for a few months at least. So uh, stay tuned. Until then, we're gonna do some trucking. And I'm at Tim's. I got a gift card for Tim's at Truck World. I'm gonna put it to good use now. I'm always wondering, is it faster to go through the drive-through or is it faster to just go inside in order? It's my turn. Hi there, can I take your order? Hi, could I get a large coffee with uh, one cream and one shot of espresso in it? Anything else for you today? And a sausage farmer's wrap with creamy barbecue instead of Chipotle? Okay. And a hash brown, and that's it. Beautiful. The one meal is going to be 9-12. Okay, thank you. Because sometimes I'm like, oh, there's a long lineup in the drive-thru. I'm going to go inside. That'll be way faster. There's nobody inside. And then you go inside and you order. And you see the people that were in the drive-thru all get their stuff and leave, and you're still waiting for your stuff because I think they prioritize the drive through right? I don't know how these things work. I'm not a scientist. So I found that at some locations and at some times, it's faster just to wait in the long lineup and go through the drive through But then other times, somebody orders Thanksgiving dinner in the drive through and then the drive through line is held up for like half an hour while they prepare Thanksgiving dinner for them. Pass them like 25 bags out the window. Really? Point of advice here, point of advice. This one's free from Trucker Josh. If you go through a drive-through anywhere and you're ordering a large amount of food, like several meals, like maybe you're getting food for the office or you're getting food for your entire family of 16 children, or uh, you know, you're getting Thanksgiving dinner for your entire extended family and the gathering. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, go inside. <laughs> go inside, park? Go inside and order that stuff inside so that you're not holding up the drive through for everyone else. But uh, that's just, you do you. Though. That's just what I would do, okay? You do you. No judgment here, but a little bit of judgment. I just thought of something too for the drive through, for people getting like a meal for a big family. 
I don't have kids, so I didn't think of this. Uh, but I probably would think of this someday when I do have kids. Uh, it may be that they have children inside the car with them. And that's why they don't want to go inside. Because there's maybe just one parent in there and like three or four kids. And going inside would just be chaos. So they got to order food for everybody from the drive-thru. Okay? Uh, I, think I, I think I understand that one. So be more understanding, Josh. Be more patient. Be more patient. But all the other excuses don't count. Don't count. Go inside. <laughs> so today's been a nightmare, but at least it's not a nightmare I had to spend alone. That's Caden back there. We're gonna go say hi to him in a bit. The guys call him Junior. He's our newest guy. He's actually doing really good. Nightmare. This is what a nightmare looks like. This is what nightmares are made of. So we spent all day here tying these down. Uh, another coworker, Rick, was here before. He's already gone. Nightmare. Let's tie this all down. And don't forget all the little details in there too, right? <laughs> oh, because they won't forget about you. Oh, those little details, they'll get you. And it started to rain now too. It wasn't raining most of the time we were here, but Look at this mess. Look at this mess. Gotta bring this back to the yard. Someone's taking it away. And Caden's got a similar nightmare up there. He's our newest driver. He's like 20 years old. I wish I was as mature and responsible as him when I was 20 years old. Man, I would be so much further in life already. He's gonna go places. Tell you what. This is Caden, or Junior. Hey guys. What do you think of the load? Nice, uh, eh? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> no, it's not nice, but well, we got it no. done. Yeah, we got it done. He did this all by himself. He did a good job. We have four trailers like this here that we got to take back. So we took three today, and I'm guessing the other one's coming Monday. So how long have you been trucking? Uh, just a year now, yeah. Are you? And, uh, you like it? At Keystone. Yeah, I like it so far. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Flat decks for sure. Good, uh, good spot to get into. You only always been something different to tie down. That's for sure. It's always something different. You guys have seen in the videos. It's always something different. But he's doing good. Doesn't complain. He just comes to work. Comes in every day. Gets the job done. I was just telling them. I wish I was as responsible as you when oh, I was yeah. 20. <laughs> Man, I'd be like a successful business owner by now if that yeah. was the case. <laughs> When I was 20, I was thinking about anything but work. But here we are today. He's driving a 3068 right now. He was in 2025, but I know the camera doesn't really show you, but he's oh, like yeah. eight feet tall. Yeah, that truck's uh, too small for me. I'm always banging my knees on the dashboard. How tall are you actually? I think 6'3". 6'3". Yeah, so the little is a better fit. <laughs> I'm 5'10", so he's taller than me. Yeah, way taller. So the camera doesn't quite show it, People, uh, like when they met me at Truck World, they some of them, they didn't know how tall I was. And then some of them thought I was taller, some of yeah. them thought I was shorter, but they, they all thought I was fatter for some reason. Really? The camera does add weight, I guess. I am kind of fat, but that's okay. We'll work on that. But yeah, this is uh, what we've been doing today. We'll just, maybe we'll just call this, uh, call this vlog Nightmare. How about that? See if I can get a good thumbnail of both the trucks here. There you go. Right there. So we're gonna head back now, keep an eye on each other. And uh, it's Friday, so after this, we gotta go home and have fun for the weekend. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna follow him. And keep an eye on everything back here. And off we go. are always they always make me a little nervous they're always so they're sort of tossed together you know they sort of just toss them onto the onto the trailer and they uh, don't always 
stop to think how are they gonna tie that down, right? So we gotta adjust everything and move everything, pick it up, put it somewhere else and That's all right. Gives us something to do, right? Gives us something to do. Stopped in Carmen at the Timmy's. Caden's just ahead of me here. They still let us park here. <laughs> I wonder how long it's gonna be till they ban that. Usually whenever there's a Tim Hortons built, uh, shortly after, no parking signs go up in like a three block radius around the entire thing because Timmy's is so popular here in Canada that everybody will stop everywhere and block everything and plug everything up to get to Tim Hortons. It's crazy. So they have to like manage the parking. But so far they haven't done it here yet, so we can still come here. Get into traffic here. There it is. I don't know if this is new or if it's been recently redone or what, but. We were both able to check our loads at the same time there. Everything was good. Tightened two of my straps by a notch, but other than that, everything's where it should be and as it should be. Nothing flew off, that's a bonus. It's always a bonus. I like to arrive with everything that I picked up. It's kind of my thing. I, I like to take it all with me. I'm greedy that way. I'll wrap this up here. Uh, didn't vlog much during the day because it was a hard day. It was hard work and that, those loads were nightmares. But we got it done. Caden is an excellent guy to work with. He was a great hire. He wants to work. And he's a hard worker. He shows up every day and he gets his, his work done. And he's willing to learn, he's open to, to learning new things, just wants to gain experience. You know, he's gonna go places in life. If I was as mature and responsible as him when I was 20, I think we would have already had our house built. <laughs> I think I'd be a little further in life than I am right now, like a couple of years ahead of where I am right now. And I thought I was kind of responsible already. You know, I've been a hard worker working full-time driving trucks since I was 18. And, uh, but uh, I, I got distracted a lot easier, <laughs> I think. Great guy to work with. He's become a good friend of mine and uh, watches the channel too. So I guess I should say, what's up, Caden? I see you there. But he did tie his whole load down on his own. I didn't help him at all. Uh, our coworker Rick was there as well. I got to ask him sometime if he wants to be in a video. He probably wouldn't mind. I haven't asked him yet though, but uh, I always ask permission before I put my coworkers or people I know like focus directly in the vlog. I want to make sure I get permission from people. I can't just walk up to them with the camera and be like, hey, How's it going? You're on YouTube for the rest of your life and the rest of time. Some people really don't like that. And it's a lesson I've had to learn over the last like 10, 11 years of vlogging. I've had to learn, you know, that uh, it's best to make sure people are okay and they understand what you do. To understand what I do. This is uh, my job. Uh, I don't like calling it like that because it's more of like a hobby, but it's, it's turned into uh, what I do every day is part of who I am and not everybody wants to be a part of that and I'm totally okay with that uh, Because it's their decision, right? But if they do want to be included and I'm happy to include everybody because you know the more the merrier I want to share as much of my life experience with the internet as I can like I said to Leo in our uh, interview on trucknews.com. Have you guys checked that out already? Go to trucknews.com and uh, check out the interview there from Truck World. I was telling him that uh, one day down the road, maybe like 500 years from now, people are gonna stumble across my vlogs or my channel here and get a direct insight into how, you know, the common man lived in 2022, 500 years from now. Imagine if they had this kind of technology in the year 1500. Like that was a crazy time in Europe. We were out there and we, I don't think my family lines had been kicked out of Germany then yet, but uh, I think that was right around the time of Martin Luther, right? When uh, Protestantism like exploded and uh, the Catholic church broke up into the Catholic, uh, Protestant and Catholic and the world was a completely different place and Europe was just a, a mess, right? Not that it's uh, some, some parts of Europe right now are, are a mess again, but we're, we'll, 
fix that. We'll fix that yet. But uh, on the whole, the world's gotten a lot better in the last 500 years. But imagine if we had this technology in the year 1500 or 1522, exactly 500 years ago. And we could get a direct like direct link and just watch first-hand view of what just the common person in 1522 lived how they lived what their life was like what they did for a living every day what their family life was like what their accents were like like what their language was like because language changes over time as well i hope in 500 years from now if they find my videos that they can still understand my english because english will have probably changed by then right i don't know i'm hoping that one day down the road it can be sort of something i can leave behind and it's just that everything is digital nowadays, right? And it's, it kind of worries me because if we ever go into like a, let's say the worst happens, nuclear war, the whole world's destroyed, or maybe a, a, another asteroid comes, hits the earth, everything's destroyed. And all of my videos are on digital files, on SD cards, right? Or in like external hard drives. If the whole world gets wiped out and like me and a couple of thousand people are left on the earth, I don't know how to create a hard drive. I don't know how to make a computer. All of those videos would be on this little box in this hard drive. I have no way of accessing them or watching them. It's crazy. That, that's why I want to start printing off photos as well for my family and create photo albums, physical pictures. Because, yeah, you can put them in like a little digital card and stuff, have thousands of pictures in there. But what happens if the world is destroyed one day and no one can ever access those pictures? They're lost forever because no one knows how to make a computer. And, you know, there's no hard copies anywhere. Get, get, get what I'm saying? These thoughts cross my mind. Not just a trucker. I'm actually a deep thinker. <laughs> That's enough of that deep thinking. My brain hurts. Okay, I'm going to go put this video together, and then I'm going to head over to the shop. I got some work to do. got some polishing to do. Cleaning. Thanks for watching today, everybody, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. All those fun things down below in the description. There's uh, all the links. I'm tripping over things. All the links to all of my social media. You can go follow me in all of those. All of them. I need followers. So I'll show my TikTok. That's supposed to be the new raging app right now. As of filming this, I have like 850 followers there. If you use TikTok, you can find me there. My link is uh, down below in the description or you can just uh, search up TJV TikTok on TikTok. I, I, I make videos there too. I'm everywhere. It's exhausting. Mm-hmm.